there was an island who was founded more than a thousand years ago. The island was divided by two parts, north and south. Island having the longest distance from the other lands. Eric is the leader of North and Austin is the leader of South. There was one man who loved God. Eric loved God and worshiped God. Austin is selfish and disobeyed. One day, there was a big reason to worry coming up. Eric's slave and wise men found out about it. And reported to them. Dear Eric, when we are looking around the island, we saw that there's a huge storm coming toward the island from the other side. And the wise man said, It will be here after three months. Do you believe that the storm can destroy me? And then, Eric prayed, Can I have no knowledge about building art? How will I do this? Please help me. Give me all the instruction. Amen. And Eric tried to convince Austin to build an ark. To protect your people from the disaster storm, and you will be also taking away people along with you. So that they remain survived too. And Austin said, Are you mad, Eric? You have been making fool of yourself. Now you are trying to make us fool as well. Austin refused to build them up, and Eric quickly turned out. They did not build an ark. They only cared for their own comfort. <coughs> and Eric started to build an ark. Eric started to build an ark. And people started to notice what Eric did. And people make fun of them. invited the villager to enter his farm. But they don't understand why he was people. Once they entered the ark, the door was sealed. And then the first drop of the rain began to fall on the island and they were so amazed because there had been no rain for a long time. Soon it was raining heavily. The water was flooded. The villagers ran to the shelter. But they are swept out by the storm. Meanwhile, Eric and his people were safe, warm in the ark. The ark was came to the top of the dry mountain, and Eric said, Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the love and faith you have kept me all through this journey. 
My people are alive because of you. We owe our life to you. Amen. Thank you.